everyone, Shannon Kennedy here from Vista View Solutions. I'm a CSM here, and I will be hosting today's Brain Booster regarding SAP Business One reconciliations. There are three main options for reconciliations inside of SAP Business One. They consist of bank statement reconciliations, which can be done by actually importing information from your bank statement, like the total, and then reconciling transactions to equal that total. And two other options that allow you to actually import your bank statement and reconcile manually or automatically. Automatically, of course, requires additional configurations, which can all be done with your SAP Business One support team. The other two types of reconciliations are your financial reconciliations, which allows you to select a specific account that you'd like to reconcile, and your business partner reconciliation, which allows you to select a business partner or a group of business partners to reconcile. The first option we'll be looking at is underneath our financials menu here, and all the way to the bottom, we see internal reconciliations. You have two options here. Your reconciliation is what allows you to do your reconciliations, while your manage previous reconciliation allows you to manage previously entered reconciliations and make changes or updates should something have changed or something was done incorrectly. Once we open up our reconciliation page here, we'll be able to select our manual option, our automatic option, or our semi-automatic option. Your manual option is what we'll be using here, so we'll be manually keying in the amount to reconcile. Our automatic option will look inside the system and help you to automatically reconcile the account transaction selected, and semi-automatic gives you a little bit of both. I'm going to leave my reconciliation date as 131, and I'm going to use my SAP Find button to open up one of my GL accounts. Today, we'll be reconciling our checking account. Once I select my account here, I'm going to click on Reconcile, and it will open up my reconciliation page. You see at the top of your screen, you're able to see the account that you're reconciling now, and then within the grid, you see all of the transactions related to this account, as well as their totals, balance due, posting dates, and anywhere that you see a golden arrow, it will allow you to automatically drill into that document, as with any other golden arrows in SAP Business One. Once you select the transactions that you'd like to reconcile, you have the option to cha make changes here. As you can see, our reconciliation total should be zero, but we see that it's 5,184.50. So with that option, we will have to change one of our amounts to reconcile, so that way it allows us to reconcile our accounts properly. You also have the option to do adjustments from this screen. If I click on my Adjustments option, it will open up a journal entry, which will allow us to reconcile or adjust a transaction on an account automatically here using a journal entry. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of these reconciliations or adjustments or journal entries, please feel free to follow up with your CFO or accounting team. And of course, as always, our support team here at VistaView or your SAP Business One support partner directly. So in order to reconcile this here, I'm going to have to make some changes to what I'm reconciling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my first option here to be less 518450. So you see, if I just take a guess and a stab at what I need to decrease, you'll see that this is now decreasing here. So I simply just need to add 184.50 more, and that will allow me to reconcile properly based upon the transactions that I've selected. Once I've got my reconciliation total to zero here, I'm going to simply click Reconcile. It's always going to show you the system prompt so that you're able to not save your changes and go back and make any updates you need, or click Yes and it will reconcile our account information here. Now you see, we're left with all of our previous accounts and transactions to still reconcile for this account. You can feel free to also select all of your options and or you're also able to sort if you utilize your top option here, which is your column name, and you double click here, you're able to automatically sort and then select like that. The more transactions we select, obviously your reconciliation amounts here will change. Once we're finished, 
simply going to click cancel and our reconciliations are finished underneath our financial option. Now let's take a quick look at our business partner reconciliation. I'm going to go into my business partner option in my SAP main menu. I'm going to click on internal reconciliations and we have two options just like our financial reconciliations. We can reconcile or we can manage previous reconciliations to make updates to those already entered. Once I open up my reconciliation option here, we have the same options as we did in our financial, manual, automatic, or semi-automatic. And we have the option to include inactive business partners, multiple business partners at once, and also considered connected business partners. Connected business partners include those business partners that may have subsidiaries within your system, but the customer may be billing one main customer or a parent company. I'm going to leave my reconciliation data today, and I'm going to use my SAP search option here to look up my business partner. Today, we're only going to be doing one reconciliation for our first business partner here, Avid Brothers. Once I select my business partner, I'm simply going to click Reconcile, and it's going to open up the same kind of reconciliation screen that we saw when we were doing our financial reconciliations. It will allow me to select one or more of my transactions to reconcile based upon this business partner's account. And again, your reconciliations here should always be zero. If they're not zero, that normally means that you'll have to do an adjustment of some sort. If you think there's any other problem with something missing on this business partner's account, like a payment or an additional order or invoice, remember, always follow up with your team before you do your reconciliations to ensure that you have everything correct in the system. So as you can see here, I'm looking to reconcile my accounts, but I don't have any positive amounts on account to reconcile. What that means is I need to do to a, an adjustment to this business partner account. So we have the options when you're doing it from your business partner to create a standalone journal entry like we saw from our financial reconciliations. And we have the options to do an add of incoming payments or outgoing payments, depending upon if it's a customer or a vendor. So now this customer, I was notified that they sent in a payment, but for some reason, someone didn't process it inside the system. So I want to enter an incoming payment in the correct amount that should be on account so that we can continue to reconcile our business partner account. So I'm going to add an incoming payment. SAP will automatically open up your incoming payment screen. And then depending upon how you want to enter this, this payment, you'll choose to enter by selecting one of your options here, or you can also enter a payment on account. Sometimes a customer with a lot of outstanding invoices may give you a nice round amount that they want you to apply to the latest invoice to the newest invoice. So that can be done via a payment on account as well. So if we select payment on account here, and we're going to say that the customer gave us $5,000. Now, as we're entering in our incoming payment here, I'm going to select Add. It's going to let you know that this is not matching your account because we're putting this on account. This is going to go towards their open invoices, but not necessarily pay them all in full. We're going to select Yes, and we're going to add this incoming payment. Once we've added our incoming payment, it will automatically show in our reconciliation screen here. Now we have the option to select our invoices and reconcile them against this payment here. Now again, we always want to have a zero balance. So I'm going to select my $3,000 invoice here, and then I'm going to slowly select additional invoices to make sure of what we're going here based upon our payment of $5,000. or I could simply select my first option here and then select some of my smaller invoices. This will allow you to use up the full 5,000 that's on account 
without going over and without needing a secondary reconciliation until an additional balance is accrued. So we see we have a small negative balance here. That means that we need to change our last invoice here by $134.31 in order to use up the full payment on account. So I'm simply going to enter in the total here. And then the balance on that invoice will remain on account. Now I'm going to simply click reconcile. And it's going to reconcile all of these invoices against that $5,000 on account payment which we've entered. Once we've done that, you'll see that still remaining to be reconciled is an open invoice with the balance that wasn't accounted for with that $5,000 payment. Thank you for joining us, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us here at VistaView Solutions directly or directly to your SAP partner. Thanks again for joining us.